All right, here we go. Welcome back to a Brony history. Forest Rain. So when we last left off, we had just left Forest Rain in Zagalkas, New Jersey, BronyCon. And, uh, yeah. Great to be different. Basically, he was born. Now, this, of course, would start July, and for Forrest, he would still be making videos, and in the same sense, be thinking, up, oh, great to be different. But while that was happening, he made a big announcement. On July 25th, 2012, well, a few things happened. Actually, no, July 11th, 2012, he released a video announcing that he finally got his first album on Bandcamp. The title, My Little Pop Punk Pony by Forrest Rain. The album would include songs that he's already released, including Autumn, well, actually, uh, nine songs, basically, seven of which were released, one of which hasn't been released, and a ninth that was basically a remix. So, here they are. The seven that were already released are Autumn, Derby Hoof's, co Autumn Derby Hoof's cover, Family Way's cover, Luna Alt Mode cover, Mer Memory Lane, Join the Herd, Hamus Derby, and Trixie. The one that wasn't released was a cover of Pony One Kenobi's The Party Hasn't Ended. And the remix, Toast Waffles remix of Hey Miss Derpy. The video of the announcement has actually garnered a few thousand views, but we're not into that at all. Yeah, it got about like 1,500 views, whatever. Actually, it got about 5,100, so what am I saying? About 5,000 views. So, by the end of July, he had basically made two videos. One was a video of Hamus hey Derpy, uh, a, basically an acoustic version by his friend Turquoise Splash, which on his channel has gotten 22,000 views. Then he released, on the same day, a bit of a preview to part 36, yes, 36, of 48 in Upheaval, uh, whatever, yeah. Basically, he made a behind-the-scenes video of a line from Upheaval Breaking Point called Found You. Two words, and I don't know what he was trying to get at, but he s sounded happy, crying, crazy. I don't know what he was going for, but I guess if you read the story, then you'll find out. So, anyway, with that 1500 view video out of the way, he kept releasing more of his upheaval breaking point videos. Then, it came full circle. The project that took Forrest over a month was finally complete. Great to be Different was finally released on August 27th, 2011. The first video, well actually, you know, there were two videos. One on the 27th of August, the other on October on the 30th of August. What do I mean by that? The first video, which has 68,000 views, was basically Forrest, coming out of nowhere, explaining the entire story again of how he met this random letter and how he's now trying to find this derpy. And then the song. The second one, on August 30th, was basically a intro-free video. The full version has over 151,000 views. Total, basically over 200,000 views, which is really good considering that even his stories don't get that kind of viewing figures. That kind of viewing figure right there. On, and then came September, 
And as his popularity on Great To Be Different was skyrocketing, he made another song, a 45,000 view video called Forest Rain Fixes the Living Tombstones, Octavia's Overture. And that was it for Sep and that was it for September, minus more stories. Then came October where he created a community video, which is basically a picture music video, of Great To Be Different, which included brony cosplayers, brony conventions, uh, brony comics. Basically, if it had anything to do with the song, it was there. So, that video with 8,000, with over 18,000 views. So, then, we hit the end of the so just the, the the one that took so long to complete the end of upheaval but we're not done yet that was kind of the end of november for him so we move on very quickly to december for the japan followers out there basically uh he released somewhat, of a Japanese song, even though only the chorus was in Japanese, called Aishi, Aishiteru, A-I-S-I, uh, I, uh, sorry, A-I-S-H-I-T-E-R-U, Aishiteru, which is Japanese for I love you. The video has garnered oh, about 12,000 views, and this was a special song for the girl who wrote the letter in the first place, Rebecca Starborn. If you guys have actually been to Forest Rain's channel, you, you will know that Forest Rain is the green pony, but you might not know who the blue pony with white spots and rainbow hair is. For those who don't know, that is Starborn's OC. So now, this basically shows you that, in fact, not only are they together, but their OCs are sort of together. Best friends, really. So then we have... Well, three days after that, he came out with a song called Raise the Sun, which, for those wondering, is not a cover or a parody of Raise This Barn. Basically, it's sort of a Lion King style, he lives in you... Uh, song about only well, I'd say a nomadic tribe of ponies who really worship Celestia. And uh, yeah, the video's gotten about thirty six thousand views. And then Christmas, he released a video called Derpy's Christmas Letter, which is basically a twenty three thousand view video about. Derby writing a letter to her friends, thanking all of her friends and family and everyone she's met for what they have done over the past year. Of course, those who know, 2012 was actually the year of Derby, so whatever. Anyways, then we hit January of 2013, and we are finally there. So we're going to go a few months into 2013, and then we're going to end it, because there's not much left. January 4th, 2013, his first video of the new year, he released a video called Upheaval Re 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 Reckoning. This was the sequel story to Visiden Visidane's Upheaval Breaking Point. A year into it, and Forrest has only released the first 22 of 59 chapters. The view total is basically in the five digits range. It's very, very close to 5,000. Oh, actually, it already has pa Well, it's closing in on 50,000, really. It's closing in on 50,000, which is pretty good. But here's the thing. When is he going to end it? It's been over a year, and it took him about 10 months to finish the first one. So far, he hasn't finished it yet.
as said before, 22 videos of 59. I mean, I guess he just uh, hasn't had enough time yet, so, whatever. Anyway, then, he, instead of doing, like, the chapters in February, he didn't really do much. Then, came another song. This song, March 10th, called An Evening in the Stars. Very happy song, uh, again, made for Rebecca. The video, of course... Uh, garnered a few thousand views. Uh, oh, and earlier, on June 24th, he released a teaser for a video that was to later go on Starboy's channel called Inspiration. The teaser has about 2,900 views, almost 3,000. The original song, the full song, 8,400 on Starboy. Yeah. So then, in April, we have a cover of The Party Hasn't Ended by Decibel with 27,000 views, even though it was released on Forrest's channel. In June, he released To Catch a Falling Star, which is basically an instrumental-only song that has garnered about 14,000 views. Later in the month, he would... Well, actually, later in the year, he would release covers of Ash Ken Corp's Supernatural, which, is had, which has 15,000 views. A cover of Electro Explosion's uh, Snowdrop, which has 20,000 views. The original, Cash M the original Ken Ash Corp's video has... Over 489,000 views, and the original uh, Electric Explosions video has about 73,000 views. Uh, and then that leads us into August, where a very... Oh, and also, July 1st, Bad Wolf, one of his own original songs for Doctor Who. So, basically... Uh, if that's all we have, that's correct. Ah, now we get to the good part. Picture it right now. August 2nd, 2013. Friday night, Brony Palooza at BronyCon 2013. It has been almost 13 months, well, a little bit over 13 months, since the letter was put onto Force onto Force's desk. And it's almost been a year since the release of the song. Force Rain gets on stage, thanks Danny Brony, which is another musician that I'm probably going to have to cover. Basically, Force thanks... Uh, yeah, so we covered a year in this video, by the way. Force basically thanks Danny Brony for making a live performance of that song, even though he had no idea it was going to happen. And he asks Rebecca, Rebecca Lynn, apparently, Rebecca Lynn Starborn, to come up on stage with him. If you know romance, you know where the story's going. Or, I mean, if you've been there in person, then you know where the story's going. See you guys for part three, which should be the final part.